Hello. Yes, that's right. Tom Watson's diabetes reversal programme should be Labour policy. Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party should be pushing this programme now. Showing people or using Tom Watson as an example, even a poster boy, that one can reverse their diabetes, come off the medication, be a lot healthier and save the taxpayer and the NHS millions and millions of pounds. In fact, the article below, I've left a link below to an article uh, in The Guardian, says that if the diabetes crisis isn't resolved, it will triple by 2035, I think, to £40 billion a year. That won't just bankrupt the NHS, it'll bankrupt the country. But we know that's not going to happen. The Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, are not going to push the Tom um, Watson diabetes reversal programme because it's politically incorrect, isn't it? Right? You see, I'll tell you why the nations in uh, an ob obese obesity crisis, I'll tell you why. Back in the 70s when I was a kid, there were chip shops that are just as fattening as any fast food outlet today, KFC, McDonald's. And there's sweet shops selling the same type of sweets that are just as fattening then as they are now. But we had no money to buy endless amounts of uh, fish and chips or fish, fi fish and pies or whatever. As we had no money to buy endless amounts of sweets, we had no money. Whereas now people have got plenty of money and they're filling the faces, right? And contrary to this uh, nonsense Labour come out with, that's why your socialist nonsense so archaic and antiquated that we're living in the age of poverty. Come on, how can we be in the age of poverty when there's an obesity crisis? That's a contradiction in terms. Say, so back in the 70s, we never had any money to buy uh, sweets and uh, fast food. We had no money at all, whereas now they have. Also as well, the reason why there's so much obesity these days. There was barriers in place back in the 70s called fat shaming and it wasn't in people's interest to be fat you got laughed at skittered uh ridiculed and in some cases uh, you got beaten up right you got laughed at i'll give you another example when i was at school here in norris green liverpool ella green comprehensive a few of my friends other reprobates we'd go searching for fatties on our dinner break there wasn't that many in our school but those uh, that were they were hounded and chased on every dinner break. Those we caught were given the bumps. One in particular, oh, I won't mention, uh, I left school in 78, I think it's, uh, I bumped into him somewhere in the 1980s, I can't remember where. He gave me this uh, horrible look, I can't blame him, but it was like a butcher's pencil and he probably thanked me privately. You see, there were barriers in place back then, right? That it wasn't in your interest to be fat. There was a penalty for it. Like I've said, you got laughed at, uh, skittered, the bumps, whatever, right? So it wasn't in people's interest to be fat, to be obese. Whereas now, it is, right? The adverts are full of fatties, the way the fatties are the funny ones, and people are looking at this, and then you've got the soaps and other TV nonsense pushing fatties and pushing everything that's bad. So the barrier we had in place back in the 70s to prevent obesity has been removed. The barrier that prevented uh, promiscuity, uh, slut shaming, that barrier has been removed, right? The barrier we had in school to keep discipline, that's been removed again. The barrier we had to keep law and order on the streets, that's been removed. The barrier in the prisons have been removed and so on and so on and so on. I could go on. Yeah, you see, those old enough watching this video will know where I'm coming from. The barriers have been removed by the Liberals and um, we're in the mess we're in today and that's why the Labour Party or the Tories are not going to push the Tom Watson diabetes reversal programme because it's politically incorrect and also, also, more importantly, once you get a little bit of change in this country, a little bit of reform, people start looking after themselves now. Start getting the manners back as well, talking, uh, you know, decently and not swearing every other word and whatever. Right, that's another barrier that's been removed, courtesy of the TV, right? You see, the medium of change has been the mass media, hasn't it? TV, music industry, fashion industry. That's removed the barriers. We've got plus size models. Plus size aren't models. It's ridiculous. So... The barriers have been removed, right? 
And until the barriers are put back in place, we're heading for chaos. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, I welcome the chaos because it's going to... Uh, it's going to help us big time, right? Because the people have no one else to go to in the end. Because most decent people can understand what's happening. You liberals, you lefties, you socialists, you Labour. Do you agree with me that the barriers have been removed and they need put them back in place? No, you don't. It's like mass immigration. We had barriers in place that only allowed so many thousand in each year. That barrier is now gone. And we can see the consequences of that, which is, again, our cities are just hell holes. Uh, up and up and down the country so the barriers have been removed but will Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party push the Tom Watson diabetes reversal program to save the nation save the NHS put people you know, make people healthy again well the answer is no so everything's on our side if we work this right you see where I'm coming from you know most people they want to be told they're obese. You start, you know, oh no, you know, you're all right. You look nice. You don't look nice. And you know, when you're honest with people, I'll have more respect for you. And like I've said, back in the seventies, we had no money to buy all the sweets and the fast food like you've got now. And also, there was a barrier in place. It wasn't in your interest to be fat. You got skated, laughed at. You probably didn't even get employed. You got the bumps like they did in our school and so on and so on. So that's what we need is the barriers back in place, but that's not going to happen. We've got to win power and put the barriers back in place. And believe me, our time is now, I know I've gone off on a tangent, but our time is now, but is Labour going to push that, Jeremy Corbyn, the Tom Watson Diabetes Reversal Programme? Well, no, we've got to push it, right? Because our time is now, people are getting fed up with what's happening. They know what's happening. They know what's happened to our country. They can see where it's going. They know the barriers have been removed, right? The barriers were in place, so serious crime didn't take a hold of the country. The barriers were in place, so the nation didn't become all fatties. Barriers were in place so women didn't become all sluts overnight and so on and so on and so on. The barriers were in place so kids left school disciplined and well-mannered. But the barriers have been removed and there's no stopping this now. It's on a life of its own. It's self-perpetuating. There's no one guiding and controlling it like a conspiracy. It's just an insidious dogma, if that's the right word, uh, ideology that is just in the body politic. It's, it's in every facet of society. It's on, its li it's on a life of its own. It's self-perpetuating. Because more barriers keep getting removed, don't they? Under the guise of freedom, equality and justice. But in, in reality, it's destroying us, isn't it? You, you people old enough. You, Derek and Ricky Tomlinson, and other socialists. You, you'll be watching this. I know you will. I'll be honoured. You know quite well I'm talking right. Right? Especially immigration. Look what's happened to our lovely country. Once the immigration barrier was removed, you know. Okay, thank you.